I'd like to introduce you to some acronyms that we throw around quite a bit in DevSecOps and in security testing in general, um, and just give you a brief uh, overview of what they are and how they differ from each other. So the first one is SCA, Software Composition Analysis. Um, this is where we check for libraries and components with known vulnerabilities. Anything you're building with, any frameworks, anything that you're including in your application that might have a vulnerability, so you need to upgrade to a more recent version of it, uh, downgrade to an older version of it that doesn't have the vulnerability, or, or sometimes just replace it with a different tool. Um, these tools generally run early in the pipeline during the build cycle, uh, but they also need to watch what you built with uh, to identify things later in your life cycle, in the application life cycle. We might already be running this in production to identify things that previously we didn't know had vulnerabilities, something like the log4j vulnerability, which was known as log4shell. Um, some examples of these types of tools are OWASP dependency track, which is open source, or Sonotype Nexus lifecycle, which is commercial. The next acronym goes with SCA, it's used uh, very much in conjunction with it, and that's the SBOM, the Software Bill of Materials. Um, that list of libraries and components that you use, the frameworks that you use, that list of ingredients, that's the Software Bill of Materials, and as part of Executive Order 14028, uh, it is now required that you produce an artifact uh, that shows your Software Bill of Materials if you're doing business with the U.S. Uh, federal government. Um, it's very easy to do, there's a uh, format out there called Cyclone DX is becoming more and more popular. It's not the only format, but it's becoming more popular, and there's a lot of tools that support Cyclone DX to quickly produce it just by looking at the POM or whatever you're using in your build system. And then these tools typically feed into an SCA tool uh, so that it can track what, what components you're using. The next acronym is SAST, Static Application Security Testing. Um, this is where you look at your source code, tools that look at your source code looking for potential security issues. They find things like SQL injection, resource leaks, potential race conditions. Uh, they're not looking at running code, they're looking at non-running code, your source code or your just compiled code be, but not running it. Um, they tend to find a lot of false positives, at least traditionally, although a lot of tools have gotten much, much, much better about that, sometimes by combining with other types of testing. Um, and, and these tools may be too slow to run as part of CI. You know, they take 15, 20, 30 minutes sometimes to run against big code bases. So often uh, we'll run them right after we complete our continuous integration cycle, but before we do a deploy. Um, tools like uh, Fortify so, uh, Static Code Analysis tool um, is used by a lot of government agencies. There's also newer tools that are more suited to DevSecOps like Contrast Security um, that, that are a little bit better about identifying things while you're building or while you're running. Um, the last acronym is DAST, Dynamic Application Security Testing. This is the other side of SAST, where SAST is looking at uh, the source code. DAST is not. DAST is looking at a running application. And it will also find SQL injection, but also things like cross-site scripting or cross-site request forgeries. It can't run until after deployment, so you do need to wait till later in your life cycle, um, but it also doesn't require the source code, so it can scan things like COTS products or services that are stood up elsewhere. Um, and they're typically looking at just web applications. It, it could do some work with, with APIs uh, in as much as they look like web applications a lot of times too. So much like the, the SAS tools, the tools that go with this, the Fortify Web Inspect is the DAST version of Fortify SCA. Uh, contrast will do, Contrast Security will do DAST as well. And then there's tools like OWASP Zap that are open source that can work as a proxy, can also scan. So hopefully that, that was helpful. Thanks a lot.